In a closed economy, the gross domestic product consists of consumption, investments, and government purchases. If we subtract consumption C and government spending G from GDP, what is left is saving S, which by definition must be equal in value to investment I. Let's look at the saving side of the equation. By introducing taxes, T, into the equation, saving can be decomposed into private sector saving and government sector saving. When taxes, T, exceed government spending, G, there is a budget surplus. Subtracting the same level of taxes, T, and the assumed level of consumption, C, from GDP, there is also positive private saving. The sum of budget surplus and positive private saving must then be equal to investment. If government spending expands, while taxes remain unchanged, a budget deficit result. Private savings stays the same because taxes and consumption remain unchanged. But total saving is reduced by the budget deficit. Because net saving has been reduced, investment must be lower to match the lower saving. Thus, the government budget deficit in effect has crowded out investment.